Hey guys, it's I Talk Apple Tech here today, and I've just got a comparison for you between uh, the softwares of Mac OS X Snow Leopard, which I have running on my laptop right here, and Windows 7, which uh, my friend is kind enough to let me uh, try out on his computer. It is Windows 7 Ultimate. Uh, he has the beta version, so um, he's going to help me through this because I've never used it before. Uh, now it may depend on what your uh, RAM is and that kind of stuff, but we're just gonna go. First thing we're gonna do is a boot up speed. So uh, I'm gonna cue my friend to go and turn it on, and we'll wait. And I have a little stopwatch here on my iPhone to tell me how long it's taking. I'm gonna edit out some stuff like this. I'm just gonna have to over ten minutes. Unless your partner. So the first thing I notice is that it's got that new little cool uh, Windows logo and that little starting up uh, kind of visual on that. And it's just turned off, so I'd give it a good a uh, solid minute and three seconds so round it up maybe a mi minute minute five seconds that's pretty good uh, for the uh, Windows 7 ultimate so let's go ahead and go over to the Mac OS 10 snow leopard running on my uh, MacBook uh, early uh, 2008 model and let's go okay guys so I have my MacBook open, and I'm about to go ahead and start the timer and uh, turn it on. So we'll go one, two, three, go. And so I actually just continued from the last thing, and you see it has a lap there of a minute and three seconds. And so I can just subtract the time. Now I do have a customized little thing instead of the Apple logo. I have a little uh, old Mac. And they say the true test is when the time comes up, and the time has come up. And so now my computer is fully turned on, and so a minute and three seconds minus a minute and 54 seconds. You math whizzes do that out there. Uh, that is about 50 seconds, about 51 seconds. So that, uh, you can see, is about a minute difference, or about 10 seconds difference between the uh, Snow Leopard and Windows 7. Okay, so this is Windows 7 Ultimate. By the way, uh, this is my friend doing it because he's got the experience on uh, Windows 7, not me. So uh, go ahead, continue. Okay, so pretty much the new stuff that we have is um, this new taskbar down here. You, the internet cannot be found in the start bar. You have to go to the taskbar right here and pretty much you can open the internet relatively quickly. And so opens very fast. Let's go to a different website. How about uh, apple.com? Um, it's a little bit slow whenever it's loading a new website occasionally. Depends on how many pictures are on the website. How uh, graphic intensive it is. Yes, so um, you have apple.com and uh, also... Here, open that uh, new window. The new window? Yeah, the other window. Okay. So uh, you can display on the bottom uh, the two different windows when you click on the uh, yeah. taskbar. So if you want to go to um, YouTube, this has more graphics. It should be a little bit longer load or not. Kind of depends. The really. wonders of Windows 7. Yeah, it's, it can. this is the um, new one, so the new, uh, it's just the beta version pretty much, so... This is the, uh, not, it? it's not, it's the, uh, trial, trial version of yeah. Windows 7, and, uh, my friend's, uh, dad is actually kind enough, uh, to let me, uh, try out, actually, uh, a copy of Windows 7 on my MacBook Pro via VMware Fusion, and, uh, so there's gonna be more Windows 7 videos to come up, just to throw that out there. Yes. Okay, go so ahead. So, with the widgets, 
really right now they don't have any new widgets because there's no when there's no Windows 7 hasn't come out yet. But once Windows 7 comes out, they will there will probably be a lot of new widgets, probably more like advanced widgets because right now none of these are really what you'd call advanced, other than the uh, new um, media center widgets. And um, oh yeah, the, if you have a this the reason that um, you can put a lot of it's this computer is very fast. Well, of course, because we have a uh, if you have a lot of like memory on it, it'll run incredibly fast, like all computers. But with seven, it runs even faster than Vista. Now uh, another one, another new feature is the uh, taskbar. I just said that. You did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay, so. Actually, uh, also the uh, screensaver actually change or the wallpaper on the computer actually does change occasionally. Um, occasionally, <laughs> as you see, it hasn't changed during the video, but uh, it will. Uh, you're gonna have to take my word for it. I've seen it happen. So I let's go ahead and go over to Snow Leopard now and see the new features in that. Isn't okay, hey guys. Uh, I now uh, am on a screen capture program running on my Mac. And uh, I'm just going to go over some of the new features in uh, uh, Mac OS X Snow Leopard. First of all, it's the speed. Uh, you could uh, see that in the uh, boot up sp uh, speed contest between that and Windows 7. Also, the new expose. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a, uh, my, say my mail window. And if I go and click expose, you can now see a defined line right, right here. And uh, it shows you your minimized windows here and your uh, open windows here. So if you go and click on your minimized window, it'll go ahead and open that up. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of uh, that. And I'm going to open up my little uh, cheat sheet uh, for uh, anything new. First thing that's new is the new expose and stacks. I just showed you the expose, but now I'm just going to show you these stacks. It now has scrollable stacks, which you can see here. You can now see a scroll bar across the uh, right hand side where you can scroll up and down, which is very helpful. Also, I like, say you want to open a folder, but uh, usually it would take you right into Finder. But now, if you click on it, whoops, if you open it, if you click on it, it'll take you right into that folder, and you can see a little back button right here to take you right back into your uh, original folder. Oh, gosh. Oh, also, uh, uh, the wake up and shutdown speed is a lot faster, just like uh, you saw earlier. New QuickTime X uh, is really awesome. Uh, has no borders, it's a lot fancier, and it's actually what I'm recording this screen capture program on right now. Another uh, new thing is the time will change uh, whenever uh, you move to a different time zone, but now I'm just going to compare it to some of the stuff that uh, we can that we showed on the uh, Windows 7. Now uh, you can set it to change wallpapers whenever you want. All you have to do is go into Desktop and Screensaver, and you can change change picture every uh, certain amount of seconds. So I'm going to go and uh, put it back to the one I had. Now, also, it has a very big variety of widgets uh, on the dashboard. Uh, all you have to do, there is no handy-dandy link like there is on the uh, Windows taskbar. What you have to do is you have to go to apple.com and uh, go to downloads, all downloads, and go all the way down to the bottom to widgets. And you can search uh, for any type of widget that you want. If you want, uh, say, some music widgets, you just click that. It'll open up here. You can choose the uh, widget that you want, and it'll open it up there, tell you how big it is, and that you can download it straight from there. The next thing is the taskbar. Now, the taskbar actually, uh, since Macs don't have taskbars, uh, the major uh, you can compare it with the dock or the menu bar. Uh, none of that has changed uh, in Windows or or in. Uh, Snow Leopard, which is very uh, nice considering I really liked the uh, dock and mini bar in Leopard. Okay, hey guys, uh, now we're just going to do the wrapping up. Uh, we're going to do the boot down speed as I uh, get my phone out to get the stopwatch.
out and I will say ready, set, go. And it is off in a six seconds. That's very good. So uh, keep that in mind guys as we go over and we turn off my MacBook Pro. Okay guys, now we're on my Snow Leopard and now we're just going to see the speed on that as well. Ready, set, go. And it's off. It's about four seconds. So you can see the speeds are about the same. So guys, this has just been a quick uh, video comparison between uh, Windows 7 and uh, Snow Leopard on the basic features and stuff like that. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.